Going good or what? Yeah, if I would cut the biz roll mo. Morning. Nice. Heck yeah, bro. All right, guys, my name is Keegan and we're here at the Kentucky Welding Institute. I'm welding in one of our simulators. We call it um, the four-part hairpin simulator. It simulates what it's like welding in a heater in an oil refinery. So I'm gonna be welding and sharing a little bit about our school with you today. So I need to sharpen my tungsten real quick. One of the main things that we pride ourselves on is making our school as real world as possible. So we create simulators and put students in situations that mimic the real world, allowing them to go out into the industry feeling a lot more confident than most places that teach you how to weld, okay? So I'm gonna turn my gas on. All right, now I've already got some of the root in, but I'm gonna be going on the top left side of the root now, here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we operate on five days a week, eight hours a day, okay? Our job placement is 97% job placement in the last year. And in the last quarter, we have had 100% job placement. So what does that mean? That means that our graduates are leaving the Kentucky Welding Institute and getting on jobs as soon as they graduate here. And you may ask, how is that possible? Well. The way that we train people how to weld, the certifications that we provide, and the industry training that we get people here at KWI is unmatched and we get you more ready for the industry than anybody else. Now a little bit about me and I guess what I'm talking about is even relevant. So I came to KWI. Back in 2017, I graduated in the spring of 2018. When I graduated KWI, I decided that I wanted to travel all over the world and take my dirt bike with me. And that's what I've been doing the last six years. Welding in Washington, Montana, uh, Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, all over the country for the last six years making really good money. And because I was able to make such good money welding, I was able to financially set myself up better than anybody in my class or you know most people in my high school class. Because I spent six years welding and investing money, now I can um, you know, enjoy to do what I like to do all the time, which is dirt bike ride and teach people how to weld. Now for you, someone who maybe is looking to get into welding, um, one of the most important things that you should look into and in going to a welding school is what certifications do they offer and you'll get this common thing from a lot of people on the internet that say certifications aren't important you don't need to worry about certifications if you're going to be a welder I know somebody who can get you on and so so on and so forth now let's say you're six years deep like me and you know a lot of people and you've networked for the last six years Yes, I can make a phone call and get on a job right now on Monday. But you, graduating a welding school with no prior experience, no network connections, you need all the help you can get. And how do we provide that for you guys? With all of the AWS certification and training we offer. We don't just offer carbon pipe. We got ink and nail, chrome, stainless, copper nickel, super duplex. We do branch and bell hole downhill welding. So being able to weld a variety of materials and being able to be tested on all those materials through the American Welding Society code, all right? So let's go ahead and tie this thing in. All right. And actually, I need to come up the top side right here. So I'm just tying in the last little bit of this weld. Now, like I mentioned, we have AWS certifications here. We can train you to weld to the AWS standard and code books with certified welding inspectors, okay? That's only a quarter of it. The second half of being a really good welder and making good money in the welding industry is not about um, how good you are at the welder, but what else do you know besides welding? Okay. If you want to make a lot of money in the welding industry and you want to have work all over the country, yes, it's important to be a good welder, but it's even more important that you know how to do other things besides weld. So here at KWI, we teach you 
NCCER fitter and boiler making as well as welding. We also teach you how to rig, signal, and if you want, operate cranes, all right? That makes you a well-rounded welder because all the welders on social media who just walk around and say they just weld don't get on jobs as much as the welders who can do it all. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this thing up. I'm probably gonna put it about 200 and start filling right here on the bottom. Why is it important to be able to do everything? Whenever a company hires welders, they will have start dates for different times when welders show up. So you got pre-down when they hire the welders who can weld good and can do everything. And then they'll be on free down for three to four weeks and then whenever the turnaround starts, they'll hire all the fancy, nice, prima donna welders who only wanna weld and then they'll get laid off. And then the welders who are there from on free down who are the good welders, they'll stay longer. So if you're a well-rounded welder, you know how to do everything, you'll get on the jobs sooner and stay longer and be the last to leave. And that's how it's been most of my career. All these hot shot welders, they get laid off really soon and then I'm the one who's um, staying on the job longer than them. And that's, one, that's what we teach here at KWI. You don't just wanna be a welder, you wanna be able to do it all. So I'm gonna come over like this. You don't know. So I'm doing the hot pass right now. Kind of in a bind, but that's all right. Kind of running out of wire there. Besides making you an awesome welder, and besides giving you industry training, what else are we gonna do for you? So here at KWI, we're gonna bring in financial experts because whenever you're a young 18 year old making 3,000 a week traveling all over the country, you're probably gonna spend your money on something you shouldn't have, okay? And then you'll put yourself in spiraling debt. You don't want that, nobody does, it's not fun. That's why you see welders who are 65 years old still on a turnaround. Here at KWI, we bring in financial experts to help you understand why it's important to invest for the future and set yourself up. Now, if you're smart, you don't blow your money on you know, materialistic things that go down in value. If you invest your money and save your money, like myself, you don't have to work year round. I would only work about uh, two to three jobs a year and be done for the year and ride my dirt bike the rest of the time. And that's the goal. You want to not work as much as possible but still make enough money to invest all you want to invest and have time to do your hobbies and things you like to do. So we're coming up here on the bottom. We call this dead man's curve. Beating the wire, just trying to fill it up as much as I can. And every welding and heaters and stuff, the goal is to try to get the welds done as fast as possible. And that's trying to weld as long as you can in one spot. All right, needing some more wire. I'm gonna come up a little bit more with that. All right guys, so one of the most important things to do while in welding school is whenever you graduate, get on a job as fast as possible because you don't wanna get in a situation where you forget all that you've learned here in welding school. So I'm gonna start working on this top quarter of this weld. Filling it up. Now one of the cool things that we do so you don't forget about what you've learned here in welding school is we have a lifetime brush up. And what does that mean? Lifetime brush up is where Two weeks out of the year for your the rest of your welding career you can come and brush up on things that you need to practice on or you haven't welded in a while so let's say you're working in Maine and you're doing a carbon pipe job you've got a job in Texas that's coming up and it's stainless welding and you haven't welded stainless in a while what you can do is stop by here at school brush up on some stainless and then go hit that job and take that web test so you're not nervous because we know what it's like to go travel across the country and be nervous about a weld test because you haven't welded a material in a couple years so i'm going to go ahead and finish this cop side right here and actually my freaking knee's not rigged like this So this is uh, this simulator is not too hard for me. I've been out in the real world welding for about six years, but for a student, this is an awesome opportunity to 
make the welds harder and learn what it means to um, be a specialty welder and weld Turing in tight positions. This is just what I've mostly done the last couple years and I like it a lot. I never was a downhill hand. Um, I just like TIG a lot more. We got students that like downhill a lot more. So it just depends on, you know, what your preference is. But no matter the case, whatever you like to weld, we have it here. Downhill, uphill, Inconel, chrome, stainless, copper nickel, super duplex, uh, aluminum. It doesn't matter what your preference is or what you want to do, we can train you for it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on this other side over here. Now one of the things at KWI is we're gonna make you use your left and your right hand when you're welding because there's a lot of welders out in the industry who can only weld with their right hand. And the guys who can weld both their left and right hand are gonna be on jobs longer because I've seen it. They'll keep me longer than someone who's been welding for 30 years and only uses their right hand and complains. So if you, if you don't complain, you make good welds, do them fast, you use both your left and right hand, you'll be on jobs a lot longer than these crybabies that have been doing it for about 30 years. I cut my wire because it's hitting this little uh, booth, this booth right here. So let's go ahead and fire up. This is a tight spot right here. Woo! A little bit of a tight spot, kind of uncomfortable, but it has to be done. So I'm gonna keep on going with it right here. There we go, I can see that a lot better. All right, I'm gonna grab another piece of wire. Now you'll, um, you'll find yourself in these situations a lot out in the field. And our goal is to build simulators and things that mimic the real world. Two. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and move up a little bit. Sometimes the function will get stuck and it'll cause you a lot of grief, but what you gotta do is just keep on keeping on. And that's one of the things you just gotta get used to. When you're learning how to weld, don't get discouraged whenever you stick your tungsten all on. All right. Now, one of the most important things is networking in the welding industry. And here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we got people from all over the country coming here to learn how to weld. Why is that important for you? For you as an individual, you'll be access, you'll have access to meeting all these types of people when you're here. Now, let's say you go to a community college to learn how to weld. Where are all those people in the community college gonna be from? A majority of them are gonna be from your hometown. It is harder to network with people you know and people you don't know and get a lot more ahead. Does that make sense? We dip the tungsten, I love it. All right, I'm gonna move up a little bit more. Grab another piece of wire. All right. Look yeah. Now we're just moving up the pipe here, just feeding it and welding. A little bit tricky because I'm in a bind, but we're making it happen. And we're getting up to where I stopped a minute ago. So if you want to meet more people and you want to be able to network, come to Kentucky Welding Institute because you might be in a booth next to someone from Alaska. So we are almost flush. I got to flush this side over here. I've been dipping my tungsten a lot. You'll have that on some jobs. All right, let's go ahead and I'm gonna sharpen this thing again. So we're gonna put this tungsten in hopefully one more time and get this other side flushed off with 332. Now, if you have any questions about the Kentucky Welding Institute and you're already enrolled here, the first Thursday of every month, we do a live stream with me and I kind of go over with you guys what it's like being here any questions you may have, and just getting started at the Kentucky Welding Institute. I'm gonna come in from an angle over here. He was, there goes that time, son. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to get it fill up at one pass. Kind of getting us, you gotta, you gotta keep moving around to different spots just because it gets tight and you have to move. And that's how it is welding in heaters and uh, doing specialty work. 
Usually the spots are really tight and you have to keep moving around. The stage is being kind of on or you don't have that. Just so out through here and cleaving it, shooting the wire, sweeping the wire, just kind of flush it off. Get this, uh, get this flush pass over with. And like I said, you know, you're not gonna be, no welding school can prepare you 100% for welding in the industry. But we can get you dang close with all of our training, simulators, real world training and certifications. And then also we have companies and contractors coming here all the time, uh, you know, just recruiting and also trying to tell our students about what it's like welding in the industry and how they can prepare. But that's it for today. I just flushed this six inch in one of our simulators. Uh, took a, not too much time. I had a little bit of a struggle because I haven't been welding in tight spots for a little bit, but that's what it's all about is always making sure you're ready to go for that next job. So lifetime brush up, KWI, AWS certifications, real world training, and five days a week, eight hours a day, hardcore. That's the Kentucky Welding Institute. My name's Keegan. Check us out for the next video. Stay tuned. Check out our website if you want to get enrolled. The links are all there to learn about funding and how to get money to come to KWI. See you on the next. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll be putting out more videos on our YouTube channel, so subscribe to that. And also check out our website. We have links and we also have shop for clothing and a virtual tour. Until next time, see you there.